Okay, so today we're going to model uh, some bottles. We're going to use our uh, image to guide us. So right now we're in the perspective viewport. So this is important. Pay attention to this. We're in perspective viewport. We don't want to be in pers perspective viewport. So we're going to press space bar. And if your space bar doesn't work, you just click on this four-way view right here. And we're going to go to the one that says front. Very important, the one that says front. Press space bar. We're in this view now. We're going to go to view. Um, image plane, import image. And my image window is taking its time. All right, so I'm going to go to find my folder now. Uh, okay, so this is the one I want, Bamboo. And look, it's in here now. Perfect. Now look at this. This right here is the line, right? This is like the, uh, the, uh, the floor, right? So I'm going to click my arrow tool. I'm going to drag it up and I'm going to put it about right here. All right, perfect. Now I'm going to go over here to the alpha gain and I'm going to turn it down just because it's a bit too much for my eyes. So you can do that or you can turn down this, um, do the combination. It's up to you, but just know it's there just in case. Yeah, don't use that one. So I just like to make it look kind of soft. All right, now press space bar, space bar. Now this is the, now I'm back in my perspective now. And I'm gonna push this back. Now, the reason I was stressing, don't put it in perspective because some people will put it in perspective and then it'll just be this image that they can't like move and see. And then they're like, ah, what's happening, right? So that's why it's, you put it in the front. So now let's uh, get ourselves a shape. I mean, uh, not a shape. Hey, um, let's start making our bottle. I guess we are getting a shape. So I'll take this cylinder right here and let's start it off. All right. So this is why I turn it down just so it's not super bright. And what I like to do is I like to press, I like to scale it out to one of these sides, the top or the bottom reaches where I want. Now look at this, you see how this is like uneven a little bit? That's because the images, because if we look at the center, we can see that it's not in the center of the object, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our background image, which is right here, press W, and we're just gonna move this. We can press four, two, four, five, let's keep on five. And we're just gonna move this until it centers itself. All right, I think that's a good centering, right? Uh, if you really wanted to, you just need to scale it out until it touches one of the edges. And then kind of like, I think y'all see what I'm saying. And also when I scaled it, I scaled it from the middle. There's no scaling from the side. There's none of that. Because if you start scaling from the side, so like, let's say if I scale from the side thinking that, uh, I'm scaling it out. No, what I'm doing is, is I'm just stretching it like this. So what you always want to do is uniform scale from the middle, like I'm doing right here, uniform scale. And don't scale like this. You can scale like this if you need to. But scaling like this is a no, no. All right, so we're back in here now. Let's uh. Let's do this, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my faces. Well, actually first, let me scale this out until it's big. All right. Cool, so this point in the bottle is good. Just need to do the rest. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get my faces. I'm gonna select all these faces on top. So what happened was this. It's selected. If we can look at this. So I'm selecting all the faces on the top, which is basically me selecting like that. Now I'm holding down control and I'm deselecting all the side faces. 
So same thing here, holding on control, deselecting the side faces. So I have this for space bar. Now R to scale, I scale it out like that. Now to extrude, I'm gonna just press control E and then I'm gonna press W and then I'm gonna pull it up. I'm gonna press R to scale from the middle, remember, not from the side, scale it where I need to go. Cool, this is, I, let's say I love this right here. Now I'm gonna press G to repeat the tool, press W, pull it up, it's R for scale. And scale it in. So G to repeat the tool, W for move it, pull it up, R to scale it. Now something else, you see how there's like a little gap right here, how it gets a little bit rounded. Well, to get that, I'm gonna go backwards and all I have to do really is press G to repeat the tool, W, and I just need to be careful with it. Scale it up a little bit, R to scale. And then I press G, W, pull it up, R to scale. So you see the 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 shorter the um G W R the shorter the transition. So pop 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 as a clues I mean as opposed to pop pop pop. You see, it's like more of these edges give you more roundness. But it's also a way to add edges later. Oh, let me just press G to repeat the tool. W, pull up, R to scale, scale it in. G to repeat the tool, W, R to scale. G, W, pull up, R to scale. G, W, R to scale. Yeah, I know it's repetitive, but it's how you get to the end goal. G, W, then up here at the lip, G, W, like this, R to scale, I'll just scale it out like that, G, W, R to scale, scale it out some more. G, W, R to scale, scale it out a little bit. G, W, R to scale, scale it in a little bit. G, W, yeah. So I have this now, right? Ooh, now let's see what it's looking like. I'll press uh, five when we're getting somewhere, right? I'll press three to smooth. Let's see, it's getting there. The bottom looks whack though, right? But we'll fix that. Also, we have some, some places where uh, if I press four, where it could use some more division or even adjustment. If you want to adjust, you just right click and you go to edge and you double click and it gets the whole edge, right? So double click, it's getting the whole edge. But remember, if I try to scale it like this, look at what happens, right? Always from the middle. So now I'll just scale this down. And then this one right here, double click, right click. Oh. I think I did accidentally extrude it twice there. But it's cool, look, look, now I'm I'm pushing this down, pressing R to scale. And it's basically like a coloring book, you know? You just push it and R to scale. Now let's say we get to a place right here where it would be nice to have a division, but we don't have a division. Then I just go get my knife tool, hold down control. And I say, all right, I think I want it to be about right here. It's there, I press Q to quit. Then I double click on the edge, press R to scale and scale out. This bottom part, same thing, right click, go to faces. Now I'm gonna select all these faces right here. Then I'm gonna deselect these right here. Press W and we'll just push it down. All right, so we're at a point right here where things are about to start tapering in. 
Same thing. Control E. W. Push it down. R to scale. Scale it in. G. To repeat. W. Pull it down. R to scale. Scale it in. G. W. Pull it down. R to scale. Scale it in. G. W. Pull it down. R to scale. Scale it in. Let's do two more. G. W. Push it down. R to scale. Scale it in. G. W. Push it down. R to scale. Scale it in. So right here. And look, bang, we got ourselves a bamboo bottle. Uh, we can, not so important, but I'll just do it anyway. So let's say that, like this top part, if we wanted to make it, uh, hmm. I'm gonna do this two different ways. So I just did control D and I'm just gonna move this out. So we could kind of just go, let me select, I just want these top faces right here. Now here's a way to do this too, right? If I want those top faces, I can go to this view, select this top right here, have these faces and then hold on control and then deselect these. That could be one way to do it. And then I can do control E and go to offset, pull this in and go to G and like push this down or something like that. So I can do that. Um, also to get these top faces, I can go click on this paintbrush tool right here. And if you click on, uh, I think B and you go left to right, it can kind of be like your painting faces. So instead of, um, just Q to quit. So let's say if I take this and I can go here and I can just paint these faces instead of selecting. And that can be helpful sometimes. All right. Now this isn't so important. I just wanna see the bottle shape, but let's say if you wanted to make this like a real bottle, you can go over here to this paintbrush selection, delete these. And then what it would be is selecting this and then doing control E and then going to thickness kind of like raising it out so now we have a glass with some uh thickness you know like a real glass and then if i press three we have like ourselves a bottle that's really cool mm -hmm. um i have a quick question is there any 